Hello, I'm Linda Hongqvist and uh, my project is the tango and my slogan for this is share if you dare. And uh, I wanted to make a daring bottle for tango so I thought about different solutions and came up with the spray effect. So my bottle is now a combination of a spray bottle and a normal PET bottle. And uh, I wanted the spraying effect because it's daring and it's a little uh, forbidden and uh, naughty, so it really fits Tango's image otherwise as well. And uh, this even has to look a little, that's the aluminum thing here. It has a wrap on it, so to look like aluminum, like a um, color paint can, spray can, so it really appeals to graffiti and that kind of stuff. And then I left the bottom part transparent so that you can see what you're drinking. And for the graphics, I made uh, these kind of splashing things like spraying fruit all around you. And uh, this bottle, it's uh, daring people to spray tango around and film it and put it on the internet while they are spraying on someone or something. So this is the tango game and uh, it's the cork is also, or the lid, it's also like normal, you can drink from it just like a normal soda bottle. And then there's also a campaign around this uh, and it's to prepare people for this because my vision is that there will be tango sprayed like everywhere all around so you're never safe on the streets when it happens. And that's why before the bottle comes to the shops there will be like a promotion with uh, towels like these, it's really small now, orange towels just handed out to people on the streets with the address with more information on and people will just be curious and what is this and it's of course when the spring starts they can just easily take it away from themselves or the cars or something. And the second thing is, uh, in every place where there is tango sold, there will be this kind of big uh, stand where it will say, take cover, we sell tango. So you're like, okay, what's happening? And then you obviously take cover behind it. And then on the other side, there is the rules on how to join this game. They are also on the bottle, so it's really easy steps on how to register and get your spraying performance on the internet. And uh, then the last uh, thing I came up with is uh, this kind of tray box with 24 bottles that would be in the shops, but put in surprising places, like not where the uh, soda usually is, but for example with the cosmetics or milk or toilet paper or anywhere and people will, oh no, here is also tango coming up. The tango will be like everywhere, surprising. So this is, and then there is also a 30 second, um, on YouTube, a 30 second uh, video about this and it's, and I made up a really silly idea about a toilet scene and uh, somebody just spraying tango on herself like perfume and then a few other coming there and like hairspray and and everywhere and then suddenly people just rushing into the toilet and a tango war begins and it's like just to get people inspired to really splash tango around themselves so tango will be everywhere <laughs> Perfect timing. Well done. Five minutes. Um, it's, it's daring and it's outrageous. The other part of the brief was to do with the alternative Olympics. So how would this play into creating alternative Olympics? Well, uh, the first thing is that the toilet in this video is at the arena, Olympic arena. But then I was also thinking that there could be more dares on the internet where they would have like daring people to do specific stuff with the, like the Olympic game themes and it could be like 
uh, the 400 meter spray or something like this, just uh, giving it really connected to the Olympics. And maybe also uh, having like performances on the games, like having people spraying tango around during the games so that it would be more visible. So one of the promotion items would go along with this. You had the towel. Is there anything else that would support this, this piece of packaging you designed? Uh, there could be more. I don't know the stances, of course, also, but um, yeah, the material. There could be even more than the, like maybe some uh, raincoat or I don't know, yeah. anything just like protecting your Yes. And, and could you explain again how it works? Is it an aerosol or is it? Oh yes, that's uh, actually it's uh, because the soda has the pressure in this bottle, so it only works before you open it, and you have to even shake it. It says here, shake well before spraying. So you can only use it before you drink. When you just do the, when you open it once, that it comes the sound like, and then there's no pressure, so it even adds more value to the spraying experience that it's like a one timer, and then nothing. Normal so is there a dip tube going down from the no, closure? So you have to invert it. Because it's difficult when drinking if you have to like really take it up. So it's just like this. And so then how does the liquid get into the oh, it's spray? Like the same way that uh, in a spray can, like with the pressure. So it's not coming very much out of it. It's just like this. And do you envisage people actually spraying it to drink it or only as a gimmick? Maybe they would, but you cannot drink the whole thing with spray. But maybe they could just drink as well, or just find out very weird places to spray it. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's your question time. Thank you. Okay, thanks.